Cosmographia, Canto 26, Freedom Fries. The grease, no doubt, remains the same, thick with the stench of saturated rhetoric and two or three centuries worth of armed eliminations dressed up in a $3,000 suit and looking good enough to instigate endless debates in which both sides agree to implement binding parades of nullities on all parties preceding universal declarations of victory. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness show up disguised as Larry, Curly, and Moe doing passable imitations of W. Dick and Condy dolled up as the four horsemen of the apocalypse minus one. Subsequent developments lead to lewd brouhaha's in which scarlet pimps demand legislative transmogrifications of spit-swapping into liberty kisses and a certain sexually transmitted unspeakableness into the democracy disease. Not to be outdone in Gallic exclusionary purification extractions, large parties of spontaneously armed men with beards and baseball caps reluctantly leave Big Sky Country aiming to pull down that freedom whore eastern bastards have set up in New York Harbor like some giant hollow horse and send the bitch back where she came from. Or better yet, load her up in a B-52 and drop her on the camel jockeys. In quick succession, beans, bread, cuffs, salad dressing, horns, and toast are rounded up in a dragnet and marched blindfolded into the U.S. Congress where they are piled on top of each other in a pyramidal lexicon of Gaulish derived linguistic sleeper cell intent, stripped naked and subjected to various cavity searches while the pursuit of happiness looks on in a gust and judicious disinterest till Mo pops him upside the head and war, ever the joker, instigates a vast and proliferating entanglement emanating beyond bulging crotch solutions leave the whole apparatus dangling limply while freedom fries.